What's going on, guys? Criminal Justice here, and as everybody knows, LSP for Rage Plugin Hook and Script Hook V is finally updated. So we can all quit griping about it and go about our happy day and get back out on patrol, guys. We can go back 10 Is everybody happy? All righty, let's do this. Everyone, the first thing you're going to need to do, this is going to be for Steam and Epic users. Steam users, you're going to need to update your game Epics. You will too if you revert it. Only if you, I want to make this very clear. Only if you're reverted your game, you will need to update. You know what? Just go ahead and update anyway, just to make sure, because I don't want to confuse anybody. Steam users, go to Steam. Go to Steam, go to GT5, right click, click properties, click install files, and click verify integrity of game files, okay? This is how you update your game. This is how it's done, okay? Now, Epic users are going to do the same thing, only you're going to go through the Epic's game launcher, okay? Once you're in here, go to library. Where are we going to find it? Well, you find your GG5 game right there. You click on those three little dots. Remember to go to the library or you won't be able to click on the dots. Okay, go to the library. Go to GT5. Click on those three little dots. Go to manage and looky there. Bam. Verify game files. Look at that. How hard is that? Look at there. Verify. Go ahead and do that. Update your games. Now, what we're going to do is download our available. Um, let me unpin this. My old Rage plugin hook. Guys, if you have an old Rage plugin hook from the previous version or whatever version, if you're back three or four versions, and you have the old Rage plugin hook from whatever version it was besides this one, make sure you take it off your desktop or unpin it from your taskbar because it's not going to work if you use it, okay? So, in the links below, in the description below, guys, click the links. I'm bringing this page right here. LSP4049 build 8564 was just updated eight hours ago. Okay, click download the file here. You can read all this if you want, but you don't have to. Click agree and download. Now, very important, you want the manual install. Never, ever do the auto. If you're doing the auto install, you're just lazy. You're just too lazy to sit down and, and learn how to mod LSP4. If everybody would take the time to just sit down and watch these videos, one, it would make what we do worth doing so much more. Two, there would be so many more great modders out there in the community who would stop asking the same questions that I've answered in several videos over my career of YouTube over and over and over again, okay? So, we want the manual install. This actually teaches you how to install LSB for yourself. Don't be lazy. We already live in a lazy nation the way it is. Don't be lazy. Get the manual install. Click download here. Put it on your desktop, okay? Next one up is going to be Script Hook V. Go down here underneath where it says 2944. We are on version 2944. I want to make that very clear so nobody is confused about anything. We are on version 292944, okay? We're not on 2845 anymore. We're not on 27, uh, 2732. That's like three or four updates ago. We're not on those versions. Today, we are on 2944, okay? You want to go down where it says download and click download. Again, put this on your desktop, Okay. Now, make sure before you install any mods, any updated mods, make sure your verif your game files are verified. If you do this before and try to launch it, it's not going to work. If you try to install them during the time your game is being verified, it will not work. Okay? want to make myself very clear to those who tend to not listen, all right? Okay, so... For Epic users, let's go ahead and get you knocked out of the way. Now, if you open up your LSP of our webinar, if you are installing LSP of our for the first time, which I doubt if you are, that's why you're here. You're just here to get an update. If you're installing LSP of our for the very first time, you're going to highlight everything in here. Hold down your control key, deselect the license, and deselect the RPA treatment. You do not need those files. I see so many people go, highlight everything and just drag it and drop it. And then you wonder why you're having issues, okay? No license, no RPA treat me. Everybody always asks me, where's the Rage plugin hook? Where do we get that at? It's right here, rageplugginhook.exe. I'm sorry if I sound frustrated, but I've said this in like so many videos about how to find your Rage plugin hook, how to verify your game files, yada, 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 yada. How to do this? We're going to answer all the questions in this video. So if you want to answer your questions, don't skip through it like you always do. Stick around and you'll find out, okay? That's how you learn is you listen. You listen and you learn. I'm here to teach you how to model LSP4. You're here to learn, which is obviously why you clicked on the video. So listen, okay? Now, 
if you want to stall them for the first time, that's what you want to do. You're going to grab everything from your WinRAR except for the RPH README and the license. Don't grab those. Pull this into your main game directory and drop it in. Okay? Now, Steam users, this is also for you too. If you're installing this for the first time, you heard what I said. That's how you want to do it if you're installing it for the first time. Now, if you are replacing a version of LSP4, like the previous version, how many versions in the back that you're replacing, inside the WinRAR, go to your LSPDFR, okay? Epic users, hang tight. We'll, we're going to get to your script here in just a minute. And inside the WinRAR of your LSPDFR, okay, you want to click on the LSPDFR folder. You want to highlight the keys.ini, hold down your control key, and highlight the lspfr.ini. Now, this is inside the WinRAR, not your main game directory, okay? I don't want people coming back and say, well, he said it deleted from my main directory. No, I didn't. I'm telling you right now, from your WinRAR. See where my arrow is? This is your WinRAR, okay? Now, once you've got those two highlighted, you can simply click delete on your keyboard, and you're going to click on yes, okay? Now, what I just did for you right there, is if you go to your main game directory and click on your LSPFR in your main directory, go to LSPFR and your keys I and I and your LSPFR and I and I will now not be overwritten and you won't have to redo your key binds. You're welcome. Okay. Now in your WinRAR, let's go back. Epic, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Epic users open up your script hook V, double click on the bin folder. You need the D input 8.dll and the script hook V.dll. Drag and drop these into your main game directory. Now, when you're dragging and dropping your LSPFR files and your script hook V files and you're replacing the older version of, of uh, LSPFR and script hook V, it's going to ask you to replace the files in the destination. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to click, after you drag and drop them, you want to click on replace files in the destination. Now, that's only if you're replacing an old version of LSPFR, okay? If you're installing it for the first time, you will not get that, all right? So, let's go ahead and Epic users, you are done. You can launch your Rage plugin hook. Now listen, don't freak out about this. If your game, for some reason, crashes like two or three times on startup, it's a common issue that when we update our games and we install a brand new version of LSP4 and Script Hook V, it's a common issue for the game to crash. Crashing is common in LSP4 regardless. So if you're fired up and it crashes a few times, Try it until you get it right, or try it until you think to yourself, okay, this is not going to work. I've done something wrong, in which you need to back the video up and see what you did wrong, or just watch the whole video and not skip through it, because that can also cause you to do things wrong. Now, with that out of the way, Steam users, Epic, you're done. You can go. Uh, Steam users, again... If you are installing this for the first time, highlight everything, deselect your license, deselect your RPH streaming in your WinRAR of your LSPFR. LSPFR WinRAR, okay? Drag and drop the files, okay? If you're replacing, okay, you're going to go again, go to the LSPFR folder in your WinRAR, in your WinRAR. De uh, make sure you highlight the keys INI and the LSPFR INI and delete them both. That way it doesn't overwrite the ones. There's your keys, LSP4 in your main directory. That way it doesn't override it. You ain't got to do all, because that's a lot of keys to go over. If you guys want to do it, and you want to re rebind all your keys, then be my guest, go for it. But um, if you open up that keys folder, right, you're going to see it's a lot of keys to redo, okay? So best thing to do is just delete them out of your WinRAR. Now, let's go, um, make sure you're back in your main game directory. You should be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto Five. Pathways your lifeline, okay? So in your WinRAR, highlight everything. Deselect the license. Deselect the RPH README, okay? Drag and drop these into your main game directory. It's going to ask you to replace the 1044 files, okay? And when it does, sorry, the 1077, you are going to click replace the files in the destination. You want to replace them. And everything you're just going to replace is going to be highlighted in blue in your main game directory, just like so, okay? All right, so close out of your shortcut. Out of your window, get rid of your shortcut. Next up, open up your script hook V. Double click on the bin folder. Highlight the D and put 8.dll and the script hook V.dll. Drag and drop these both into your main game directory. Drop them in and replace the two files. That's all you have to do, all right? Now, as I said 
a while ago. Go ahead and get rid of that shortcut, guys. As I said a while ago, we had to get rid of our old Rage plugin hook from our desktop, your taskbar, or wherever it was you had it, okay? Inside your main game directory, because as I said, an update Rage plugin hook comes with your copy of LSP4 when you download it. It has for the longest time. I don't know how people miss that. I really don't understand. Unless you're just brand new and you just started like two days ago or whatever. Scroll down your main game directory, guys. And if you highlight the GTA, this is, uh, again, another question we're going to answer. Your GTA 5 EXE, if you ever want to know what the version of your game is, go in your main game directory and highlight that GTA 5 EXE. And right there it is, guys. You see where it says 2944? That is the current version of my game, which is good because we want to be on 2944, okay? It's on 2944. Don't, don't ever highlight this. Don't highlight that. And don't highlight the play GTA 5 where it's going to tell you're on zero version uh, 10056. That ain't going to tell you jack snap, okay? That ain't going to tell you jack snap. You need to be on the GT5 AXE to see what version you're on, okay, which is 2944. Now, let's go to our main game directory. So I got that question answered. And you want to find the Rage plugin hook, okay? And you're going to highlight it, right-click, and you are going to, I recommend pinning this to your taskbar, okay? Put in your taskbar. Close out of your window, your main game directory. As always, guys, clean out your recycle bin, all right? If you don't, it gets too full. It will slow down your computer. Now, let's try and fire up our GT5 as well as our LSPFR. So, Steam users, go to Steam. Go to Library. And you want to go down to GT5. And now you guys might... The only reason I'm launching this way is because I use a Patreon version of Quant V. Uh, also, one more note, NVE users, um, your your NVE is probably going to be out of date. It's probably going to take the game's probably going to crash, and say your NVE is only compatible with the 2045 version. So keep that in mind if you're an NVE user. Now, you guys can probably launch it regularly just through Rage. I'm going to launch it by doing this and clicking play on GTA 5. I'm going to close my window, And I have to launch mine like this because I have the Patreon version of Quant V and, and it's not built to launch with Rage, but you have to uh, uh, launch it afterwards, if you will, if you guys get what I'm saying. All right. You guys can see the game is firing up. GT5 is. We have not hooked Rage yet. We have not launched Rage. Now, once I get to the main screen here, I'm going to click on uh, my Rage plugin hook, which is always in my, uh, which is always in my uh, stream deck. So once it gets to the starting screen, actually I'm going to show you guys how to do it. If you just in case you're running Quant V Patreon version, um, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to hit my Windows key, all right, and I'm going to click on the Rage plugin hook right here, and I'm going to give it time to pop up. And if you get this window right here, guys, I'm going to do this. If you get this window, just click Accept. Now in here, if you get this one, the first thing you want to do is go to game settings, go to backup current version, and click backup current version. Please do that. This will save you so much trouble on your next update, and your game is now backed up through Rage Plugin Hook, okay? You've got, you've already got a, it's now creating your backup, and this is about how long it takes. It doesn't take long at all. Storing backup, there it goes. And then once we're done here, I'll show you guys what to do from here. Once it's doing what it's got to do. There it goes, all done. Sorry about that, guys. Had to get a drink. So as you can see, that's how long it takes to back up your game. So there's no excuses. There's no excuses why someone should not have their game backed up. No excuses. I don't want to hear it. And you will now have two versions in here. The one that says 2845, which is not supported. You might have two versions. You might only have one. If you only have one, don't freak out about us and come to my comments and say, well, I only, I only got one version too. If you got two versions, great. If you only got one version there, that's great too, okay? So we're gonna go back over to plugins. We're gonna click load these plugins and start up and click check all. Any plugins you have installed, standalone plugins are gonna be right here. And then you're gonna go back and click on load all plugins on startup. We're gonna click save and launch. You get this window, just click okay. All right, we are now going to, and it hooked. Let's go back to our GT5, pull it up. And we're not out of the dust yet, guys. We gotta click story mode. And we gotta make sure that everything is going to load up successfully. 
I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I hope you guys are happy where you want to be in life and that you want to spread with God's kind of meditation. And, you know, guys, if more folks would just sit down and take the time to watch these videos that I work really hard to make and take time out of my personal day to make these, there'd be less questions and you there'd be more, what do I say, successful modders in the community who would automatically know what to do when these updates come about. I mean, you know, granted, there's people that are around my channel who have been here for a long time. I see you in every comment section. I see you in every live stream, and I appreciate you guys. But there are those few people that only come around when they need a quick fix, and it just, I don't know that, I don't know why that bothers me, but it does. You're coming here for a quick fix, and that's cool. If you need a quick fix, I don't mind helping you, but you come to my channel asking questions I've already answered a hundred times. Like, if you're gonna come to the channel for a quick fix, at least take some time, don't be lazy, and do your research and see what maybe it is that you have to do instead of just trying to get a quick answer out of me because half the time, I'm not going to see your comment anyway. And if I do, I'm usually busy with my family. I'm, I'm, I'm busy, you know, doing stuff outside. I'm a busy guy. All right, so I really have time to answer comments. And when I do, I try to answer as many as I can. So once we're in the game, we're going to click F4 and click in F-O-R-C-E tab. Hit enter. And let's see everything load up here. Remember, guys, we're on a brand new version, 2944. And looks like Scripps Photo's working as well. Let's go ahead and get him back up off the ground. <coughs> Come on, man, get up. All right? So it looks like the only thing that's not working is my reshade. So I might have to... I might have to look into that. Um, but... Give me one second here, guys, trying to get my controller working. All right, it should work now. If it, if it does kick on, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to freeze for just a second. <coughs> there it goes. <coughs> All right, yeah, controller kicked on. All right, let's check our EUP. Yep, it's working. Everything's working there. Skin control, that's all working. Uh, let's change the weather. It's a bit It's a bit gloomy. Let's check out our weapons, make sure all that's working. Flashlight, guns, every good, uh, all that good stuff. My mods folder. Make sure that's all working. Yep, all working. All working right there. And then last but not least, let's check our radiance and our sirens, okay? Oh, and my battery just died. My battery just died on my controller. I need a new battery, but it looks like it's all working. Dash cam's working. It don't work on this thing very good, but it looks like it's all working. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I didn't mean to pull you over, bro. You can go and get out of here. Uh, so let's check out... Um, let's hop out. We're going to check out our ultimate backup. Looks like that's all working. Stop the pad. Yep, that's all working. Looks like everything is working, guys. Um, let's check our gun sounds out. Our realistic looking guns. Oh, yeah, it's working. Blood V. Script's working. Yep, it's all working. Flashlight's working. Looks like it's all working. All right, guys. Everything is working. The only thing I don't see working is my reshade. I'll have to look into that. Uh, but other than that, that's it. Uh, guys and girls, let me get a different car here. That's going to do it. Um... Sorry for something a little irritated, guys. These updates get me a little, uh, a little antsy. But you know, oh hell, gun! Oh man, he's got a gun. All right. Uh, but that's it, guys. The girls. That's that's gonna do it. Um, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you don't miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, everyone. God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out. I will see you all in the next video.